Today's story is titled The Most Romantic Experience I've Had. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, it helps our story reach more fellow readers like yourself. So I'm a guy, and I'm a creative who has always been more on the emotional side. Definitely listened to emotion more than logic throughout my life. And it's been a curse yet a blessing. Because of this, I had this experience. I went to Italy on vacation in October and went to a bar because I'm introverted. And alcohol helps me open up enough to feel comfortable enough talking to strangers. Anyways, I know enough of the Italian language to get me by, almost fluently, but still broken. Anyways, I was chatting with a cute bartender. I told her where I'm from, and we got into talking about astrology, and she says she's a cancer. I said, me too. My birthday is July 16th, 93, and her jaw drops. And when she composes herself, she says, oh my God, me too. I don't believe it because I'm just skeptical of everyone, so she shows me her patente di guida, which is what driver's licenses are called in Italy. And sure enough, July 16th, 1993 was staring back at me mockingly. I actually did the math on this, so bear with me for one moment. There are approximately 380,000 people born on the same day, same year, and the population of the Earth is 7 billion. You have a point. 0.00054% chance of meeting someone the exact same day as you. So me, being a deep thinker and looking into everything, I felt like this could have been a divine intervention L, and in a way, it was. We clicked immediately, talked all night long, hung out every chance we got. The third day after meeting her, she comes to the hotel I was staying at, a beautiful suite that overlooked the historical and romantic atmosphere of Florence. And it was weird, but in a good way, just weird because I've never experienced this type of affection from American women before. But we were kissing and she goes down to my neck and my chest, stomach, arms, legs. She kisses my entire body and obviously we had sex, but once we were done, I told her, I really like that, you kissing my entire body like that. But why? And she says, Stavo baziando le cicatrici della tua anima, which translates to, I was kissing the scars of your soul, which made me aroused and emotional at the same time. This woman completely changed my life. I go back to the States, and we talk every day. It ended up getting toxic because we consumed each other, talked on video for hours upon hours, and while we never got bored of each other and always had things to talk about, we mutually took up each other's time to where we were both becoming drained. In our short time together, she knows me better than anyone else, and I was married for five years. I only had my experience with this beautiful soul for four months. Sadly, we don't talk anymore and probably never will again. But I experienced all four seasons with her. She had a temper as hot as summer, skin that was as soft as fresh winter snow, eyes so green it reminded me of the revival that spring offers, and Jesus Christ, did I fall. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please remember to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you won't miss a single new upload.